that have just shaped you as like a human being? I mean, having to juggle concussions in college, like how does that just impact you? Uh, it's a lot. I think it's a lot mentally and physically. Uh, I think I've said this before, but it's so much more than just like your physical rehab. Like there's a lot of stuff that I, I mean, before this, I had never had a concussion. I didn't know really everything that goes into it. But I mean, there's a lot of physical stuff you can do um, to strengthen it and to, you know, get better. But it's also mentally, it's really draining because, uh, you know, one day you're good to go and one day, you know, you don't feel like yourself at all. So it's really, it's been hard. Hard, um, just the ups and downs of it but I am really lucky to be surrounded by the people I am I don't think I would be in the place that I am in the sh um, like mindset that I am in today if I didn't have you know this the people around me my teammates my coaches the support um, trainers Hootie everybody just um, being there for me and just like knowing that I'm gonna get back to it did you learn anything about yourself that you didn't know beforehand um I think anytime you go through an injury, it kind of makes you appreciate things more. Um, but especially this, I think it made me appreciate um, just not only basketball, but just, you know, kind of being my health in general um, and just everyday things like doing everyday things that like now it's kind of I have to think about more or like do take extra precautions um, around it. So just being appreciative for the days where I do feel good and just kind of having that positive outlook um, on those days. What are some of those everyday activities that you have to rethink now? Um, I mean, the usual things like being in bright lights, loud noises, um, schoolwork, uh, looking at screens, um, like watching TV, like little things that you kind of don't really even think of, driving, lights, um, stuff like that, or, you know, like you guys see me with the ice or, you know, like the headband and, you know, stuff like that. But um, I think I've been able to adjust to it. When I first started, it was kind of a lot, and now it's just kind of adjusted the way I live. Is there a diagnosis along with that? Is that is that like post concussion syndrome or what? What is? Uh, it's kind of just dealing with yeah symptoms mm. after having them and just um, mm. kind of working through that. What did you think about the scrimmage on Saturday, both for yourself and the team? Um, I thought it, I thought it went well. I thought it was good for us to play against somebody else. I think we learned a lot about things that we need to clean up um, offensively, defensively. Um, I think compared to where we were in Europe, I think we looked a lot better. Um, but I think you know, there's a lot of things that we were not exactly happy with. But I, I think it was a good you know start to get on the court, play somebody. You know, they were good. They were scrappy. They shot the ball well. So somebody to challenge us other than. The practice guys <laughs> coach said you, you've been uh, in every practice all the way through so far right? so that that's got to be kind of a milestone for you right and, yeah I don't know, actually, one to jinx, but, yeah. fresh wood i know <laughs> yeah yeah I've, I've felt really good um the past couple of weeks um and just being able to get through that i mean that was like my biggest thing this summer is just trying to get healthy stay healthy um and i mean there's a lot of stuff that goes into it i'm not just you know coming out here and feeling good so I a lot of it there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff so I'm really grateful that I have that to what, help me what do you think people will see now that when they see you healthy and the, the rest of the team healthy you where you kind of fit into the group you know there were times when you were kind of the savior because there were so many people were out and mm -hmm. then you would be out but seeing the whole team together where do you feel like you fit in what do you think people are going to see um I think I think having everybody healthy, like you kind of forget, we, we really are a deep team. Like we have so many different weapons, but we haven't really been able to, I mean, since my freshman year, we've been like that, but we haven't been able to, you know, utilize everything because one person's out and then somebody comes back and you're kind of just flip-flopping with what you have access to. So, I mean, t again, like coach was saying today, like we have so many options that, you know, whereas last year we'd settle for like a good shot. Now we can, we have options to get a great shot every time down no matter who you know who's available so I think just like our versatility and again just having so many options offensively defensively just even in practice you can tell we have so many different lineups um, and we can attack teams so many different ways you mentioned her earlier but what has this hoodie meant to you since your time here at UConn yeah, she's, she's been amazing. I think we're really lucky. I mean, I'm sure everybody says this, but we really are lucky to have her and just like her knowledge and just everything that she brings. You know, she's always like, I've stayed on campus the past two summers um, 
and the majority like the main reason for that was to work with her and obviously Janelle too but to work with her and just be able to get stronger um and she's also like a huge asset for us mentally like especially with all these injuries you know she's always someone we can go to and she's always finding different things for recovery different she's always looking up different things sending me different things like i heard let's try this for your head let's try this supplement like let's try this form of recovery um so we're really lucky to have all of her support um and it's it's made a huge difference i read that wow when Paige was going through her recovery brought something from your acl recovery where you threw little mini parties at every milestone uh mm-hmm. just what were those little celebrations like in Could you see how much they meant to Paige? Yeah, I think that was something that, like, I remembered being hard in my, not only my ACL, but in a lot of my injuries, just, like, having to kind of not look at the big picture and, like, celebrate little things where, like, she's an elite athlete and she's celebrating, like, walking again. Like, that's terrible. Like, you know, it's a hard, like, pill to swallow. So I think that was something that, yeah, um, we started um, where we do like Shirley Temple parties and like I'll give like a little toast for like her first steps and then like oh, when she was off crutches uh, we had one Jana got was off her boot so we had a little party for that uh, I think um, I, when ice got cleared ice just had like her one year anniversary so we did a little cake for her anniversary so I think just kind of like celebrating those little things it kind of keeps you like again like Ice's injury happened like again like a year ago but you know it's still like something that's like obviously on her mind she's still dealing with it so just to like kind of celebrate those little things like meant a lot to me so I like to do that for other people. Have they had any of those little parties for you here with your different things or do you not feel like you're over them yet or? I mean yeah I think it's it there's some little little things that we do we do them for birthdays too and stuff so I mean mine's kind of a work in progress so it's (laughs) but yeah. It's for everyone. Are they handmade cakes or store-bought cakes? I personally am not a baker. um, So (laughs) I, Jana made, she made cupcakes. um, Somebody's birthday, she made cupcakes. So I will usually buy the dessert, but I like to like do like handmade cards or stuff like that. Or the Shirley Temple toasts are like, are handmade, I guess. (laughs) So. Keeping on the Avena tradition? That's, those are big shoes to fill, but <laughs> <laughs> I like to try. <laughs> Has that been something you've uh, just tried to grow in being a bigger leader for this team? Yeah, I think so. I think we have a lot of great leaders on this team, like all of the upperclassmen, I think, kind of bring their different aspect to it. Um, and I feel like, especially like as far as injuries go, and just like I've had my fair share of ups and downs here and being able to kind of be that support for people and try to, you know, brighten brighten people's spirits and, you know, keep them because it's hard, like it's the hard process. And unfortunately, so many of us are going through it.